هيا على صلاة هيا على صلاة هيا على الفلاح هيا على الفلاح الله لا إله إلا الله أو مسيحاس نوس انسنياسته ال فروتو دل اسلام Welcome to the picturesque country of Guatemala located in Central America a nation of rich history and culture but despite its breathtaking scenery, Guatemala is not without its own problems, particularly in the area of healthcare. Each year, more Guatemalans are killed by diabetes than by homicide. Meanwhile, the maternal mortality rate in Guatemala is nearly 10 times what it is in the United States. To address these issues, the global charity Humanity First has been running makeshift camps in the country for a number of years. As time progressed, however, the need for a long-term strategy became more apparent. In the medical missions, it was not a very, uh, you know, a continuity of care and we don't, do not have too many facilities to serve like diagnostic services and all the services available. It was a very basic medical mission. Uh, and I always uh, felt the need of improvement. In 2015, uh, June of 2015, I was asked by Humanity First USA to come and visit and look for a possible um, project here in the country. Initially, we started looking at uh, a suitable site. And uh, this site was, of course, chosen because of a number of reasons. It is on Inter-American Highway, which is the world-famous landmark. And also, it is uh, near to affluent community of San Lucas and Mexico. Also, it is near to the gateway of underserved communities of Guatemalan indigenous people. So it was sort of an ideal place where we could put uh, this hospital. Pues inicialmente empezamos a platicar en este caso con Majid, que es el, el representante precisamente de la institución, ¿verdad? Y pues nos sentamos a conocer ya el, inicialmente el terreno. Eh, ellos nos presentaron cuál era el proyecto que querían hacer para acá, para la comunidad, ¿verdad? De, de Zacatepec, que es específicamente de Santiago, acerca de un hospital. Y yo, pues, por ser médico de profesión, pues me ilusioné mucho, ¿verdad? Como está la población ahora, saber de qué íbamos a tener precisamente algo tan importante como esto pues eh, lo bueno es que pudimos darle seguimiento paso por paso, ¿verdad? Desde empezar a tener los permisos, los avales, porque sí es muy importante tener el visto bueno en este caso del Ministerio de Salud, del Ministerio de Ambiente, de la municipalidad, ¿verdad? Para poder eh, realizar esta, esta obra tan grande, ¿verdad? Y de, de mucho beneficio. There were four people, all of them were um, experts in the hospital construction and building. And I asked them, in, in your opinion, what is the cost of this hospital? And all four of them said it is at least $10 million. So we were able to achieve what they thought, the experts thought that it is going to be, it is at least a $10 million project in $3 million. And it includes the commissioning and the equipment part as well. Having this kind of hospital in this area, you know, out of the city is very special for us 
the people who came to the hospital, they don't expect to see a hospital like this when they see, you know, the, the, the building, the area, the equipment, they are very, very surprised. And of course, it's cheaper than in other places. Eh, hace aproximadamente dos años hemos estado trabajando, apoyando este proyecto que ha sido de beneficio para la comunidad. El impacto que ha tenido ha sido eh, espectacular. La gente que más lo necesita ha venido aquí a, a tener pues, mejores servicios médicos y eso lo ha agradecido mucho ¿no? la comunidad y las autoridades de, de la localidad. And with the establishment of this hospital, uh, we um, have obviously improved in the services to the Guatemalan population. In October of 2018, the head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community, His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masrur Ahmad, may Allah be his helper, undertook a tour of the United States, which would also include a historic visit to Guatemala. I received a call from um, respected Amir Saab USA three months before, and I was just sitting in my office here in Guatemala. And he said that Hazur is coming. So the excitement part and the responsibility part came together. After years of fundraising, construction, and final preparations, the momentous day had finally arrived for the official inauguration of the hospital. So any inauguration, especially of a project of this stature and size and where so many people have given the donations, in itself is a, is a huge event. But when Hazrat Khilifat al-Masih comes on, on, an, uh, on an event like this, then it just changes its class altogether. The effort of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community to serve humanity in all parts of the world are entirely motivated out of a desire to ease the suffering of mankind. And this is why Humanity First is today opening its first hospital in this part of the world. With all my heart, I hope and pray that it fulfills its mandate and proves an exceptional means of alleviating the suffering of people, regardless of their religious beliefs, regardless of their age, and regardless of their ethnic or social backgrounds. I have no words to say what it was the feeling that I was uh, feeling in that, in that time, seeing Hazur for the first time uh, came into my country, you know, uh, going especially to the place that I work, it was, uh, you know, something very, very special. I, I was, I work very hard as uh, one week before he came to have everything organized, everything clean, everything pre prepared for all the guests. When all, all the time when I see the videos of the inauguration, I see the news media of the inauguration, it's a very good satisfaction that I have. Having the blessings of, of Allah Ta'ala, you know, having all this work just only for mankind and have the support of uh, Hazur, right? Since that blessed day in October of 2018, the Nasser Hospital has served hundreds of patients in its first few months, with many traveling great distances to benefit from this world-class facility. This is a, a U-arm digital x-ray unit, and this we got directly from China. So this is one of the top uh, Chinese x-ray um, suppliers, and we were able to get a very good deal and they were very pleased to do it for us because uh, they wanted an entry into the Central American uh, market. That is how we, we were able to upgrade much of the equipment uh, in the hospital. Getting what we could do and doing what we, we can do for and provide the services to the, uh, to the patient uh, where otherwise uh, which, uh, which was not possible. 
Eh, bueno, yo estoy muy contenta actualmente trabajando acá. Es un laboratorio muy bonito, tiene equipos muy buenos, muy modernos, eh, de alta, alta gama. Eh, y pues estoy muy contenta de, de ser la encargada actualmente de, de este laboratorio y, y de, de manejarlos, digamos. The investment in the lab is very necessary, not only because it generates revenue, but it, it, is a, it is a place where the right decisions could be made for the health care of a patient, uh, which helps us to uh, generate revenue and spend it on the patients who are underserved. So anything we make is being spent on those patients who would otherwise not think of going to a quality healthcare laboratory. Eh, el equipo está muy feliz de trabajar acá. ¿verdad? El Hospital Nasir para nosotros es como casa, es nuestro segundo hogar. Todas las, el equipo médico y el equipo administrativo tiene una relación muy buena. Eh, cada día que un paciente que entra para nosotros es eh, una persona que tiene que salir satisfecha de acá. Eh, nos hace muy feliz poder trabajar eh, en un ambiente en donde tenemos todo lo necesario para ejercer nuestra práctica. Eh, entonces estamos muy satisfechos y muy felices con, con las instalaciones, con el lugar y pues con la, con la comunidad por tener esta institución acá en Guatemala. Islam, Islam, la cuerda de The hospital does not only have the best of equipment, but the exterior landscaping has also been designed in a way that promotes physical and spiritual healing. The entire hospital site provides an ideal environment for the benefit of its patients, helping them reconnect with nature and with their creator. Una atención de primera, la verdad que aprovecho también para agradecerle, de verdad, y, y que Dios bendiga a la gente que, que se inspiró en hacer este proyecto y la gente que está aquí activa realmente, ¿verdad? Porque todos los proyectos siempre he aprendido en la vida que pueden ser grandes proyectos, pero si la gente que está operando, o sea, ejecutando, estando al frente, no la es, pues la verdad que los proyectos vienen abajo, pero hay un buen equipo de personas, desde los médicos, enfermeros y todos, y... Yo voy muy complacido, muy agradecido y de verdad los felicito y que sea adelante. We have started quality assurance program here and we want to make the standards of the hospital to the American standards and we are trying to take baby steps to improve all those qualities and with the blessings of Allah Ta'ala and the prayers of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih khamis and as his feet were stepped in this hospital I am very optimistic that inshallah this hospital will be successful and uh, with each month and each year will go in the direction of progress and development inshallah we had a patient from uh, centro medico that hospital is the top hospital of guatemala and uh, one day before the mother came to us and she said that I'm going to bring my son to you, to your hospital, because the other hospital says that he will not be able to make it. So next day, she, she brought uh, her son, who was in ICU in almost a coma for two days. And just by sheer God's blessings, he not only survived, he walked out of the hospital on his own two feet. And something he mentioned while he was leaving, he said that after God, I believe that if it was not this hospital, I would not have survived. The opening of the hospital was a landmark moment in the history of Guatemala. Not only for its contributions to the nation's healthcare services, but also as a unique opportunity for the local population to witness the true teachings of Islam for themselves. We had more than 400 guests from Guatemala. And uh, it was for, for them to 
be in presence of Khalifat al Masih uh, himself was a uh, was a was a great experience. One of our um, doctors, she mentioned that although um, she is a Christian and she has no other, um, she has never met a Muslim leader before. She said that when I saw Hazur, I started crying. So it, that could not have happened unless God's blessing is there. This is a, a very big, uh, you know, surprise for Guatemalan people seeing that the Muslims are building a hospital, a charity hospital. And, uh, you know, because the people uh, has a very wrong idea about Muslims that, uh, you know, this kind of things that terrorists and then they are seeing that we build this hospital just only for serving mankind, giving a very good quality of uh, health care and um, just only to help the people, you know, to, to help. So this is very blessing for us being as Muslim and being, you know, employees of Nasir Hospital. Muslims are duty bound to help underprivileged people so that they can stand upon their own two feet and live with dignity and, the, and be freed from their desperate circumstances. It is not a religion of extremism, violence, or terrorism. Rather, it is a religion of love, compassion, and tolerance. It is a religion that considers service to humanity as a fundamental obligation placed upon its followers. Thus, how could it be possible that a true Muslim be hard-hearted or fail to help those who are suffering or facing any type of hardship? Someone asked a question to Hazur that <clears throat> he found it very strange that uh, in his opinion, whatever Hazur had mentioned in his speech, the, um, he never thought that Islam has said that. He, he, he asked Hazur, Islam does not say what you are saying. Hazur just smiled. And then, of course, uh, that was an opportunity for uh, Hazur to explain to that person and also to the people of Guatemala because the next day uh, the whole media carried this story that what actually uh, Jamaat Amdiya stands for. La comunidad musulmana inaugura el Hospital Nasir en Santiago Zacatepeques que beneficiará con servicios de alta calidad la salud de los guatemaltecos. There was a big impact in the population uh, in the area and um, because of that uh, inshallah more and more people will get introduced to Islam. Within the first few months of its inauguration, the hospital has already exceeded its own targets in terms of the number of patients that have been treated and the revenue that has been generated. These profits are invested back into the hospital to subsidize the cost of treatment for those patients who would have otherwise been unable to afford it. Day by day, we're getting more and more big, so we expect that uh, the hospital uh, gets more patients every day and helps more people all the time. So right now we're just in the beginning. We expect that here in one year, uh, we're gonna have enough for all the patients that uh, we hope that we will have in the hospital. Ah, yo creo que el hospital va a ir cada día creciendo, va a ser algo mucho mejor. El hospital creo que va a ser no solo conocido a nivel de la comunidad, sino que a nivel nacional. Eh, yo lo veo que va muy, muy deprisa, con pasos, a, eh, con pasos grandes para ser mejor todavía y yo creo que no se va a dar abasto. Y pues la relación ha sido muy buena hasta el día de hoy, pues mantenemos una muy buena relación, muy buena comunicación, ¿verdad? Y yo creo que la institución hizo su mayor esfuerzo para poder eh, tener realizado este sueño, ¿verdad? Que como institución también 
es importante para ellos poder proyectarse a la comunidad y para nosotros pues, tener el beneficio que hoy estamos viviendo día a día. I will venture to say that this is not an ordinary hospital. It is unique in many ways. It is unique in the way it came about. It is unique how it was funded. It is unique in how this will operate. Pertenecer al grupo eh, acá en Guatemala de, de, de el área musulmana es, es un honor. Yo antes de venir acá desconocía totalmente la misión de ellos acá en Guatemala. Y conocer un poquito, estar dentro del medio, me hace sentirme privilegiada, agradecida, porque puedo dar de mí hacia los demás. Sé que eh, tengo muy claro el objetivo de servicio y eso me hace sentir parte del grupo. Having built this institute, This will not be the end of our services to this country. Rather, it is my prayer that this proves to be the first of many humanitarian projects established by Humanity First in this region. Vosotros los durmientes, despertad, el sol naciente está aquí.